Hi all, it's Doug from Beyond Territory and in this video I'm going to show you how to paint the Vindictors of your Stormcast Eternals from the Dominion box set. I also go through the stats of these guys. I hope you like the video. I hope you pick up some tips and tricks and please don't forget to like and subscribe. So the Vindictors, um, their stats, they have a Storm Spear, 2 inch range, 2 attacks, 3 to hit, 3 to wound, minus 1 rend and 1 damage. Pretty good for what looks like your standard troops. They've got a five inch move, two wounds each, seven bravery and a three plus save. Pretty tough for a standard troop. You've got, um, what have we got? The champion, pretty much the prime. Add one to the attack, so standard. Standard bearer, uh, one in five models in this unit can have the Azerite signifier. Add one to the bravery characteristics of this unit while it has any Azerite signifiers. Then we have the Storm Soul Arsenal as the Vindictors bellow. Uh, Latines of faith, bright lightning arcs between their shields and spears, forcing enemies to charge into a wall of blazing Azerite power. If the unmodified hit roll of an attack made with the Storm Spear is a six, that attack inflicts one mortal wound on the target. And the attack sequence ends. Do not make wound or save rolls. That will be awesome. Okay, so how much do these bad boys cost? Bring up the box. Bit Vindictors. A unit size of five is 140 points. They are battle line. I cannot wait to play with these boys and girls. All right, let's get painting. Okay, first colour is Contrast Black Templar. With the Contrast Black, I'm going to focus on all the flat parts of the armour on the miniature. And I'll do two thinner coats. Next colour is Mephiston Red. And with the Mephiston Red, I am focusing on two areas. The pole of the halberd, the handle of the sword, and for this guy, a plume in his helmet. Next colour is lead belcher. With the lead belcher, I'm picking up the plated armour, the buckle of the belt, the edges of the armour, the face plate, spear blade. And head again on the reverse plate armor. This guy, because he's a prime, the shoulder pad, collar, outside edges of armor. On the shield, the same thing outside edges. And the face sigma and slowly take your time going around with, with the Ushanti bone I'm just going to go over the flag next color contrast Saigor brown for the leather the straps etc so on the strap for the shield come in with Saigor brown for the leather belt around his waist And on here. Now some shading. We've got Nuln Oil for the metal and I just go for spear. Fit armor. Quite generous with it. I'll just slap it on and then start moving it around if it starts pooling in areas I don't want it to. Last shade, Agrax Earth Shade. With the Agrax Earth Shade, I'm just coming in for the cloth 
and the red parts and stuff. Now the washes are dry, I'm coming back in with the bleb bleb. Now that the washes, now that the washes, now that the wash, I can't say it, what's wrong with me? Now that the washes are dry, I'm coming back in with the lead belcher on the metal area. So with the new coat of lead belcher, I'm just going to focus on some of the flat areas, but keeping a shade of known oil in the gaps and recesses. Next colour, a highlight of chain mail or a bright silver. So with the chain mail, I'll focus on the face first, the nose, forehead, a little bit on the cheeks to get a bit of a highlight. And then I'm going to focus on all the edges. So let's get this in focus. Using the side of the brush with the chain mail. Side of the shield. Parts of Sigma's face. Make it stand out. Next highlight is Evil Sun Scarlet for the red part. With the Evil Sun Scarlet, I'm just going to pick out some of the raised parts of hair from the plume. Try and take my time not to make any more mistakes. But as always, I'm aiming for Free Foot Fabulous. And I generally will make mistakes. <laughs> I'll make mistakes and then I'll just go over and try and tidy them up best I can. And work in that fashion. What I need to make sure though is that it still has the recesses of the um, non oil still in the pleat plume. Just give it some depth. And for an extra highlight, a fine highlight of Wild Rider Red. And with this Wild Rider, I'm just going to pick out some of the edges. The tips. So for the banners and flags, I'm going to go back in with the Ushanti bone. So with the Ushanti bone, I'm just going to come in sort of for the flat areas. I've got a highlight with uh, a wraith bone. So just on the corner edges. Just make it pop a bit more. And the same on the flag, the edges where the light will hit it. And the final colour, I'm just going to use Administratum Grey as a dry brush on the black armour. With my small dry brush, I'm just going to pick up the areas of armour and the edges. And for the basing, I'm going to use the Astro Granite. And just apply generous layers. So the basin's drying, I will wash it with probably a bit of Agrax Urshea, give it a bit of a dirty feel on the bottom, um, and dry brush with like a, a light grey, administratum grey, just to pick up some of the, the rough edges. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with him. He turns out quite good. They're fun to paint, and looking at the stats, they're going to be awesome to play with as well. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed um, finding out a bit about the characters, a bit about this unit, and I hope you enjoyed the painting tutorial that I've done. A nice, quick, easy method of painting your unit. All right, so I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next week.